Sometimes you have to take the longest journey to find straightforward answers. An inexpensive health intervention that will save the lives of millions of children is best seen deep in the interior of Tanzania. A flight over the Great Selous Wilderness to a grass runway just outside the town of Ifakara. The Tanzania Essential Health Interventions Project, THIP, showed that malaria was responsible for the lion's share of health problems in two districts, Morogoro and Rufiji, but was being poorly controlled. Malaria is the leading cause of the uh, hospital attendances and also admissions, and also a leading cause of uh, mortality at the community level. So malaria is the main problem, so it's the main challenge which we are facing at the moment. Malaria is particularly deadly to children. The World Health Organization estimates that malaria kills 3,000 children under five years old every day, or one African child every 30 seconds. And while children may be treated at clinics and dispensaries, the evidence from the two T-hip districts indicated that many never get that far. Malaria can worsen suddenly, and if high fever and convulsions develop, parents may not have time to get their child to the closest dispensary or hospital. Traditional healers are closer to home and their methods may work if they help reduce the fever which can lead to brain damage and death. But no treatment is as good as prevention. Research has shown that child deaths can be greatly reduced if children sleep under nets treated with pyrethrum, the insecticide found in common anti-lice shampoos. Overall, the Ifakara Health Research and Development Center has demonstrated that these nets have the potential to prevent 30,000 deaths every year in Tanzania. Armed with this evidence, local health officials have devoted more resources to attacking malaria right in the home. So what has happened is about an 11-fold increase in expenditure for malaria, the introduction of new uh, interventions. In, in, in the case of the two districts that we've been working with, they chose primary prevention through insecticide-treated nets. Now in rural community stores and on the streets of the capital, Dar es Salaam, the new nets are an increasing part of the landscape. Kipindi cha kwanza tulikuwa tukiugua sana malaria. Lakini baada ya kuanza kutumia hii dawa hatujaugua tena malaria. Scientific evidence supports her observation. The government of Tanzania has taken this evidence seriously and made fundamental policy changes to make insecticide treated nets more accessible. It's a cost-effective intervention. It is something that also the government has gone on further. All I can say is in Africa, we are the first country in Africa, in Tanzania, to remove the value-added tax that is VAT on the mosquito net materials that come into the country. So you can see how much emphasis the government has put to make sure that at least they are affordable to people in the communities, in the rural both in the rural and in the urban. The popularity of insecticide-treated nets has had economic spin-offs. This textile mill in Dar es Salaam, once mothballed, has been given new life, along with others in the country. But much more importantly, the nets have given new life to many thousands of children like these. <laughs> 